evening. The clouds had become dark and the thunder showers were about to pour. Huge crowd was waiting for the arrival of the train. Among the crowd, a son and a daughter who were their parents were eagerly waiting for the train. The train had arrived. Every compartment was tightly packed with the mob. To avoid the crowd, the mother with her son entered into a ladies' compartment, whereas the father with his 15-month-old daughter entered into a general compartment of the local passenger train. There were many characters with long beard and curly moustache among the mob. Yes, the shrieky, thundering cry of the child started, which made the entire crowd in the compartment to look at the pathetic father who is unable to control his child and stop her crying. Yeah, this was an incident happened in the life of this scary cat who has entirely transformed into a confident kitty standing in front of you. A warm greetings to one and all present here. This is Narayani Prakash, a 10th grader from KRM Public School giving a TED talk on a topic, a scary cat into a confident kitty. When I was young, I had a fear of looking at strangers, particularly the male gender. In fact, I would still remember the days how I used to cry when my cousin from the US came to wish me on my birthday and when my parents took me to the family functions. You know, none of my relatives be in my house due to my streaming nature. Oh my God, really I gave them a terrible experience every time when they carry me outside. Naturally, I was a good looking girl. No, no, no. I am a good looking girl, isn't it? And my mom used to dress me like an angel. On the contrary, when they attend any family gatherings along with me, they would have felt that they had carried a monster along with them. Look at the compliment I've received. A good looking monster. Not bad, I accept it. My mom has researched whether it is due to fear of men, androphobia, or it is due to fear of strangers, anthrophobia. Something fuzzy, right? What could it be? Well, my parents told me that they didn't celebrate my birthday due to my screaming nature. Pity on me. I'm sure that they are very clever to give such reasons convincingly. Now, I think my fear of anthrophobia has saved many bucks for my parents instead of spending on celebrations. But the fear has continued for years affecting my social skills. What to do? How to overcome with that? Obviously, my parents were literally anxious at how I could face my society with all kinds of people. Here, my mom acted as a therapist who has used fine arts as a tool and introduced me into various art techniques at my younger age. Dear friends, have you ever made a painting countless hours on it? Have you ever wasted any good canvas? But I did. Surprisingly, my mother noticed me and she got the remedy for my fear. Yes, it's none other than art. Initially, I expressed myself onto the canvas, paper, charts, and even walls as painting rather than expressing in the form of speech. Statistical evidence says that art enhances our brain functions by impacting brainway patterns, nervous system, and emotions. Art and creativity has a great impact in controlling the dopamine level, which is usually low for the people with anxiety. As we utter the word art, the one which comes to our mind is either painting or drawing. Am I right? But the word art is inseparable from every walk of life. Let it be architecture, sculpture, literature, dance, music, painting, drawing and theatrics. 
all these art forms are connected with our life and emotions. I started my research when I was in grade 7. It was pandemic where all the schools were shut and our education had continued through online. With enough of time and loneliness, I started experimenting with different types of traditional arts. Particularly, the art form of ancient India. I became very curious to know about all these 64 art forms which portrays the culture and civilization of a country. Dear spectators, let me ask you a question. Is there anybody who is master in all forms of art? This was the question raised in my mind. As a result, I started learning myself various colors, which means performance of art. Here are the glimpses of my learning. The first and foremost art form, which I developed from my childhood and ever continued till now, is Alekya Vidya, the art of painting. Painting a visual art which composes drawing, gesture, narration, composition and abstraction. I have brought expressionism in my painting, which is predominantly seen in the countries like Germany, Russia, France and Austria. And this painting depicts a walk with the pain in the showers of rain. The harder the winds blow, the heavier the blood flows. Life goes on still in a long stretch of time, expressing the emotions as an act of mind. Then I tried painting using patterns and geometric designs like circles, a spiritual symbol in ancient art called mandala. Mandala painting were produced in India, Tibet, China, Nepal, Japan, Bhutan and Indonesia. Impressionist painting techniques or broken color techniques on the canvas using small short strokes which gives a patchwork appearance. Moving on to abstract painting. Here I try to give a meaningful message to a completely disfigured painting. I have enhanced my drawing skills and I try to update on the skin using different colors of tattoos and by designing hands and palms using mehendi cones. In fact, I have earned your money bucks during the art exhibition conducted in our school and during the family functions. To my wonder, I noticed this as a different art form which is called as Aisesya Kachedya Vidya, the art of painting the face and body with color. Wow, that's truly amazing. How these art forms were classified even before thousands of years back. Wondering, right? Progressing on to my next learning, Nritya Vidya, the art of dancing. I could say, the most exciting performing art is dancing, which increases our body flexibility, boosts our memory concentration, cognitive skills, and improves our social health and mental health. Though there were many different dance forms, like hip hop, jazz, western, ballet, I prefer to learn Bhadanatyam, the Indian classical dance, which has the unique features of communicating the expressions of love, Laughter, anger, fear, disgust, wonder, courage, and peace. One more reason for me to choose this art form is its costume which gives a very gracious look for different poses of dance and I feel proud and vibrant wearing attractive jewelry while performing on stage. When you learn Bharatanatyam, I have got a chance to give a dramatic presentation titled Narasimhanatya Naragam. It's a drama with speech, music and dancing. From this, I could present my learning to the next art form, Natya Vidya, the art of theatricals. It includes four different styles, the graceful, the energetic, the grand and the verbal form of stylized acting. 
The music or the tune for which I've danced, for which I've acted, has created a deep impact in my mind and soul and made me to murmur the song and elevated me to the new stage of learning Gita Vidya, the art of singing. Does singing have any power? Have you experienced the pleasure of singing? I did and enjoyed to the core with my solo performance and group singing as well. Do you want to enjoy my Gita Vidya? Here is the song which has been composed by me. And I request all to snap with my tune. Every anxious thought that steals my breath It's a heavy weight upon my chest As I lie awake and wonder what the future will hold Help me to remember that you're in control You're my courage when I worry in the dead of night You're my strength cause I'm not strong enough to win this fight you are greater than the battle raging in the mind. I will trust you, Lord, and fear no more. I will trust you, Lord, I'll fear no more. You know, a hormone called endorphins are released while singing, which in turn promotes positive feelings. On the other hand, group singing induces the production of oxytocins which is called as a bonding hormone, which really reduces stress, anxiety, and increases the social well-being of the performer. Though singing is not a gift I'm born with, it is a learned skill which boosts my creativity to multiple levels and made me to communicate to the world beyond the words. During my journey towards dance and theatrics, as I supposed to wear antique jewelries and ornaments for the better look of my costume. I have started to make ornaments using beads and stones. You know, to my surprise, I have learned yet another art form, Mani Bhumika Karma, the art of making groundwork of jewels. Is it enough if I just make jewelries or buy the ornaments? It should be properly worn with necessary adjustments and required settings, right? People used to approach the fashion designer or beautician for grooming themselves, particularly during the wedding events, stage shows and engagements. But my friends and relatives started approaching me as I have Bhushan Yojana. I'm not just joking. It's really an art form of applying or setting ornaments which I've learned. How do we look? If we dress completely with proper jewelry, leaving our hair uncombed, would it give a decent look? Never. My next jump is to pick the comb up and my first trial started with my grandma combing her hair with different kinds of plates. And in every, my sweet grandma has agreed to most of my trials. Looking at the trouble I did, my mom had given me a gift. Can you guess what it is? Yes, it's a hair wig. With the help of that, I made several trials and learned the art form Kesa Marjana Kausala, the art of combing hair. Wow, it's truly inspiring to know more and more about these art forms, aren't they? Usually, people have three meals a day. But in our generation, we have included snacks break in between at least for twice, isn't it? Particularly, we'll be awaiting for the tasty, crunchy, munchy snack in the evening. During pandemic, I started to prepare varieties of sandwiches, recipes using puffed rice, milkshakes, fruit salad, sweet variety, and few other unnamed dishes. During the preparation of pastry items, it has turned out into a sticky sweet variety, which I named the recipe as Baked Coco Alva. Nostalgic funny memories. Though not a smart chef, I was titled as a smart snacky bowl in my family for the art form which I've learned in preparing varieties of delicious food called as 
oregano, bay leaves, ginger, spices like pepper, cumin, cardamom, aromatic vegetables like onion, garlic, carrot for the base for the preparation of soups, curry dishes and sweet varieties. In addition to my cooking art, I have added the essence of another aromatic art form called Sugandha Yukti. Initially, my hand and my mind started to work with pencil, sketches, brushes. And very recently, it has started to mingle with needle and thread. I tried to make pouches out of my torn jeans, stitching the edges, sewing with the help of needle, which is titled as Susivaya Karma, the art of needle works. Usually, people use thread for tying parcels, packages, and several other security purposes. But Sutra Krida, the art of playing with thread, has made me to work with thread in different kinds of craft, as you see. When I get involved in all these art forms, I feel I need to increase my patience and concentration to the maximum extent for which I will practice yoga and meditation constantly, which enforces discipline within me. And that's how I learned Vainaki Vidya the art of enforcing discipline. Very recently, there was a challenge thrown on me in World Scholars Cup competition in the form of debate, of which I was unaware of how to bid and argue against my opponent team. I started preparing myself for the debatial skills and stepped into the learning, Samvaikya, the art of conversation. In my first round, I failed in my conversation, but I didn't give up. I started debugging my errors for the perfect execution of my conversation in my second round. And fortunately, I was succeeded in my second round. I felt when my team number was announced, I got goosebumps with tears of happiness in my eyes and feeling of victory in my heart. Yes, I think I am in the process of learning another art form, Vaijaki Vidya, the art of gaining victory. Dear viewers, so far we have listened to 16 different art forms out of 64 which I experienced in my due course of life till now. Thanks to those art forms which served as an effective tool and helped me out in overcoming the fear which I had in my lifetime. Learning gives you creativity. Creativity leads to thinking. Thinking provides us knowledge and knowledge makes you great as said by APJ Abdul Kalam, creativity gives you courage. It is true in my experience. And what about you? Are you ready to sail the ocean of various art forms? Draw the art you want to see. Start the business you want to run. Play the music you want to hear. Write the book you want to read. Do the work you want to see done with three C's. Courage, confidence, and commitment. So this is Naraini signing off from you as an ever-confident kitty. Thank you.